I'm Carlos Cruz with Dragon Pictures, and right now I'm in Alliance Martial Arts Academy. I'm a big fan of Jiu-Jitsu. Right now I'm talking with the legend, Mr. Jocker Ray. Nice to meet you, Carlos. All right, all right. Um, gosh, I really love Jiu-Jitsu right now. I'm really glad that I'm in this school. I think you're one of the greatest teachers I've ever seen. Um, what age did you start uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Well, I started a long time in Brazil, and I was around 12 years old. 11, 12 years old, and then the first belt that I got was the yellow belt. Oh, that is awesome. And um, you learned on the rules, Gracie, right? Well, at first I went to a school that was near my house. Rose Gracie wasn't teaching uh, Jiu Jitsu at that time in my neighborhood. He was still at his ankle, and he was still very young. So I didn't start straight with him. I trained uh, first with a guy uh, named Jair Gomes, that was a brother of a famous Vale Tudo uh, No Holds Bar fighter uh, called Ivan Gomes. And then subsequently, when I was a teenager, I went to train with another instructor at Carson Gracie School, Antonio Rodriguez Tuninho. And after that, when I was around maybe 20 years old and I was already a blue belt, that's when I started to train with Paul Gracie. Wow, that's, that's amazing. I heard a lot of things about it. He was integrate things from judo and things like that. Absolutely. Halls was uh, ahead of his time. He was always trying to innovate, bringing new uh, techniques uh, from wrestling, from judo. He, he completely changed uh, the way that people uh, train and teach Jiu Jitsu. And uh, how long have you been teaching in Atlanta? I've been te teaching in Atlanta since uh, the end of 96, so it's been about 22 years right now. Wow. And um, what, do you, what do you like about Atlanta? Well, uh, at first, uh, I had a school in Rio. And after I graduated several guys uh, to black belt, I, I went from Jacare Jiu Jitsu to Master Jiu Jitsu with Fabio Rogel, my first black belt in Rio. And then Fabio moved to Sao Paulo, I was by myself in uh, school in Rio. And then that's when we joined force with all the students that became black belts. Uh, uh, from me and we formed the Alliance team. So that was around 1992, 91, 92, something like that. And then uh, I opened my first uh, school in the United States in Miami in around 1994, 95. And then I had a good proposal to come to Atlanta at the end of 96. My school wasn't doing so well in Miami, this was not very well known. And then I came to Miami at the end of 96. Um, what can people gain by taking a jiu-jitsu? Well, people can gain a lot of things. Uh, jiu-jitsu is more than a martial arts. Uh, besides being the, the father and mother of all the martial arts, jiu-jitsu also uh, is a lifestyle. So the guy has a, a new way to live new way to look at the world with uh, better eyes. It teach you uh, how to to live a healthy style of life. And what are some common misconceptions people have about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Well, I don't see any misconception, you know, Jiu Jitsu is designed to teach the guy a good martial art is a grappling sport, of course, but on top of everything, it has a really good part of self-defense. And when the guy learns in a school that apply a good methodology, like uh, the Alliance schools that divide the class by levels, that have the guys learning the foundation, the self-defense first, and subsequently, advancing the guy to the new levels and 
and then you know the guy is really good hands. Yeah, I see that because I, I know some people who say they came from other schools and they were getting mulled and they didn't really know what to do. They came here to actually learn the basics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes I we have the students joining from other schools or organizations. And then they sometimes they don't recognize the foundation like we do over here. So despite the fact that Alliance is the only team in the world that won 11 world titles in the IBJJF Federation, we also very focus on the regular student, not just on the competitors. And we're making sure that everybody learns the proper team. It doesn't matter the kids, adults, you know, it doesn't matter the age, the sex, so people will find over here what they're looking for. And that's really cool because I do see a lot more women training and young girls coming in, which is, I think, very, very uh, powerful. Yeah, so we are expanding our, our kids' program very much uh, right now, so we have a decent amount of kids training, and we, we try to expand even more. And the same thing with, with the ladies, because they need uh, jiu-jitsu a lot. Sometimes they're going to be attacked in the street in a situation that they're not going to be able to really strike the aggressor. But, you know, if they learn some basic self-defense stuff and way to get away from situations, grabs and holds and etc., they are much safer than if they don't know anything. You know, on um, a different note, um, I notice I see a lot of stuntmen trained here and a lot of famous people. What famous actors or famous people have you trained here? Well, <laughs> unless they came pretty much anonymous, I, I don't really remember. Uh, we taught uh, a week of class for a crew that came to the school and I forgot the name of the film that they were filming in Atlanta. Was that uh, Jerome Butler? Yes, yes, Jerome Butler and a few other uh, famous actors. I don't really like uh, go to the movies yeah. a lot, so I don't really know uh, the names. Yeah. But I know they, they were filming uh, in Atlanta and they, they, they asked me uh, to train a week over here with us, uh, a group of artists in, uh, separate, and they train over here for a while. And then we have a lady that is a stunt, stunt girl for some movies that trains in the fundamentals. And I don't know who else is not trained over here before because I don't really recognize the face sometimes. Well, that's really cool. Well, I, I definitely um, gained a lot by being here. I've changed a lot. I was very, uh, I think, a little nervous. Uh, but I think I definitely proved at least my basics by being here. And I definitely um, appreciate that. I definitely uh, appreciate uh, doing this interview with you, Dr. Appreciate Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. And if you guys are looking for our school, just look online, alliancebjj.com or call 770-458-9825 and the schedule visit with us. It's going to be a pleasure to receive you. Thank you very much. Come to light.